Welcome to this short tutorial in which I will explain how to polygonize a raster file with QJS. I will use your QJS version 3.30 with data from hydroinformatics.com, that is hydro minus or hyphen informatics.com. You will find here in the geospatial analysis section a QJS tutorial and if you click here there's an entry for polygonization. So polygonize, you click here and you will find my data set here that is roughness coefficients in the form of Mannings n. I want to zonalize it here for a numerical simulation in which I need to define roughness zones. So those are patches of similar roughness pixels that I want to summarize in polygon patches to create roughness zones. Something similar would be useful for summarizing, for example, habitat suitability indices, indicating a similar physical habitat suitability index for a target fish species or something like that. If I want now to create this polygon here from my roughness raster, I have two basic options. One is here to use the rasters, uh, raster pixels to polygons functions. So I can use that here from the processing toolbox or a little bit more convenient here would be the raster and then conversion and here the polygonize tool from QJS. If I would run now here that polygonization, here I would select my man XN, then that is my basic band number here. I just have one here. Now the field that I want to create would obviously be here a Manning XN field. Or I do just call it here an N. Then I would save it here maybe now to a, a polygonize test shapefile. If I run that here now, I will get one polygon that is, if I check it here, everywhere zero. So why did that happen? Well, my Manning's N raster here is full of values between zero and one. So if I go here to the properties, then I can see here in the histogram, so compute here the histogram, that the values are very close to zero. And what this polygonization function does here is it will use only integers. So it rounded off all my zero point something values to zero. That is not very useful. So how can I get now to a useful polygon shape file anyways? There is again two options here. Either you use the raster calculator and multiply your roughness values or the pixel values here by 10, 100 or 1000 for getting to integer values that are somewhat relevant. Or I think about what do I really want to zonalize here. And what I want to do here is basically to create zones of similar roughness values. So I can think about that and use then here a reclassify function uh, that is also available here in QJS. So that two options, either reclassify by layer or reclassify by table. The reclassify by table function here is somewhat similar to what you can find in ArcGIS. So I will use that here now. Um, select here my raster layer, that is this roughness layer, select the band number, then here I will define a roughness reclassification table. Now in the first row I will uh, enter a minimum that is 0 and a maximum that is 0 0.02. Now the value that I want to assign here to that is in the middle or because here that is very small, um, I would use here uh, 0.02 as the new value. Now because I, if I would just use the 0 0.02 here, it would result again in a zero if I polygonize it. So I will multiply it here by 100 and assign here a value of two. Now I will add another row here for um, values that are a little bit bigger. So here it would be 0 0.02 to 0 0.04. Now here I would choose the middle way that would be now 0 0.03 multiplied by 100 is 3. I will still add three more rows, one here from 0 0.04 to 0 0.08. 
give it here a six. I will add another row here from 0 0.08 to 0 0.12. What will I add here? Well, 0 0.1 multiplied by 100 is 10. And then one more row here from 0 0.12 to my maximum that I've seen here just before in the histogram, uh, somewhere in the region of uh, 0 0.18. So I will assign it here something like 15. Good. So that is now my reclassification table. Press OK. And now we're going to save here the reclassified raster to a file. And I will call it Manings and tiff minus reclass. Let's run that. And we got here the result. Now I can polygonize here my reclassified raster file. So you can see here already the pixels are a little bit less patchy than what I had before. Just here switch it on and off. And if I use now here the conversion to a polygon, I will use now here the Mannix and reclassified. I will use here a new field and define it with Mannix n. Um, I will name it here x10 or x100 even because I multiplied here the roughness values with 100. Then I will save this shapefile here as Manning's polygons and run the polygonization. So that is the result that is still a little bit patchy. I could have something that is a little bit less patchy if I had created less zones before in the reclassification. Now, just remember if I go here to the attribute table, I will see that my Mannings n here in, to the factor of 10. Oh, I had here a field name that was a little bit too long, so I should have named that a little bit shorter. It contains these uh, values multiplied by 100. To go now back to the values that I really want, I enable here editing. I will add a, a new field through the field calculator. The field calculator will look something like that here. So just make sure that create a new field is checked. Then I will name here the new field Mannix n. Now that output type here should obviously be a decibel number, so a float. And leave here the precision with three. If you want, you can also increase it to four. Now I need to enter here an expression. And that expression is going to be uh, in the output fields. So I need here to, to find here the fields and values. In the fields and values, I will find here my Mannings n field. I will use that here. Now I will divide it by 100. And that is what I need. I will run here that uh, field calculation. Now I've got here my real Mannix n. I can remove then here this former column, column that is not what I want. So I delete that field here. Just that should be Mannix n times 10, whatever you gave it the name for. And that's it. Now just don't forget to save the edits, deactivate editing. If you want now, you can also uh, make here some nice coloring by going here to the symbology and use a categorized symbology. Uh, select here for field the Mannings N. You can use random colors or whatever. Uh, classify that, apply. And now I've got here these roughness zones with higher values at the uh, banks. So those are the rougher zones of the riverbed and then a little bit smoother patches here in the central riverbed. So that is of course applicable to any other raster that you want to polygonize in whatever way. Just be sure that you know why you want to polygonize your raster and create reasonable patches and then you can create reasonable zones either with that reclassification by table or just using the raster calculator for rounding off or whatever. Thanks for watching and have a great success.